WWL Louisiana News at 5 begins with breaking news. Change could be coming for the Plaza Tower downtown. The wrecking ball may be on the way for that long blighted skyscraper. Just hours ago, the city put out a call for demolition proposals that a major that is a major shift on how the Cantrell administration has dealt with this property. Amelia Strahan joins us now live with more details. Hi, Sharice and Katie. Yeah, so it has been a long time coming, but we might see some change to the New Orleans skyline soon. Now, this is a building we've been covering for a long time, and it's looking like we're about to see some changes. As you can see behind me, the Plaza Tower is in pretty bad shape. This building is truly a safety hazard. Falling debris from this building has actually hit people just walking by. And just hours ago, the mayor's office sent out an email announcing a demolition request issued for the Plaza Tower. In Mayor Cantrell's email, she called the building a risk to residents. Last month, Mayor Cantrell announced her action plan for a series of blighted properties known as New Orleans Dirty Dozen, which includes the Plaza Tower. Building owner Joe Yeager has had no luck trying to sell the property and has faced multiple fines and court hearings over costs related to the high rise. The city imposed a $180,000 fine for the cost of barricades placed around the building and lost revenue due to closed metered parking spaces. The city later imposed a $220,000 fine for 11 guilty violations. Some of those fines were related to a pedestrian who was hit by falling debris from the building, among some other injuries. In an effort to fight blight, Mayor Cantrell hinted last month that the demolition may be in the future for the Plaza Tower. Well, I think what it does uh, provide an example of how you do have to engage the ownership of these parcels, particularly with large scale blight like the Plaza Tower. It hasn't been there for 30 years in its condition just because it costs a lot of money to redevelop. But what has happened under this administration has been the largest fines ever, and we will continue to put pressure not only in fine, but also in working to bring the property down, as mentioned by Director Davis, our preparation to demolish if we do have to do that. And we reached out to the owner of this building, and he said that he has no comment at this time. In New Orleans, Amelia Strahan, WWL Louisiana.